grateful for the message last night. Thankful for the inspiration last night. Thankful for those that got help last night. Thankful for the message on deliverance. Mount Zion, thank God for the Holy Ghost. But Father, today is a new day. We the fresh battle out Lord, we pray, Lord God, that you would sit down, amen, with the oil, amen. In Psalms 92 10 says, We shall be exalted like the horn of a unicorn. And we shall be anointed with fresh oil. We, well, we need the fresh oil tonight, Lord. We pray that you use the servant tonight, Lord. You know what you laid on his heart. Amen. We pray, Lord God, no distractions, Lord. Amen. May he be able to retain every thought, dear God, yes. to feed the church of God, which you have purchased with your own blood. Lord God, feed the church tonight, Lord God. Bless right now. In Jesus' name we pray. For his sake we ask. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. He broke the chains. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Praise God. Let us be. 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 Let us for a woman, for a man, for a move, for whatever it is. Oh, Lord. As far as we have to go, my Lord, my name is God, preach this gospel. We will go. Yeah. 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 You know, our scripture, scripture came to mind this morning as a brother was singing a song. In that day, there shall be a fountain open. Come on, brother. To the house of David. Yeah. And have it in Jerusalem. Yeah. For sin and for uncleanness. Oh, yeah. Lord, we thank God yeah. that the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses it from all oh, sin. Yeah. But it doesn't matter how old you are. Yeah. It doesn't matter how deep you are.
cute little baby. Mm -hmm. Grows up to be an adolescent. Mm -hmm. As cute as that child is, there is something within that child called the Adamic nature. My Lord. And it will begin to display itself. It will begin to manifest evil in all sorts of ways. But the Bible tells us that evil pursues its sinners. Mm. Have you ever wondered why is it if you just keep getting yourself in trouble one day after another, one week after another, one year after another? Evil pursueth, mm -hmm. pursueth sinners. Yes. How unavoidable it is, destruction of sinners. Mm -hmm. Evil pursues, pursues them very, very close. Mm. And the reason for that is because it doesn't want to destroy. The Lord, right, 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 right. He wants to captivate you. He wants to destroy. He wants to make certain that you don't have a chance for heaven. Come on, yes, Come on brother. Yeah. Evil. Amen. The meaning of evil. Profoundly immoral and wicked. Yeah. A force, a spirit. Evil spirit. Yes. Embodying or associated with the forces of the devil. Harmful or tending to harm. Profound immorality and wickedness, especially when regarded as a supernatural force. Harmful, detrimental. Depraving. When you think of a little child, so cute. Cute little boy, cute little girl. And we look, and we look in our world today, those who have committed such great evil, those who are incarcerated, for rape, murder, child molestation, sexual perversion, all kind, everyone came into this world as a little baby. However, through the, the evil mastermind working, trying to bring destruction upon mankind, and for the most part, he has succeeded. With the masses. He has succeeded. And he is ever working. I want you to know that. He is, he's, he's making gigantic, he's taking gigantic footsteps and making leaps and bounds. And he is succeeding. But those of us who have, who God has snatched at the very nick of time, Amen. do not ever allow yourself to go back to the begging elements of this world and be entangled again. Yes, when the Lord has delivered you from sin, and He has, he has saved you, he has, he, has, he, has, he has snatched you from the, de from the devil's grip, oh, Lord. don't ever allow yourself to go back. You will sing the song, Once I Was Lost in Sin. Come on, brother Eddie, come on. It's not for you to go back and sin again. Come on, come on. But the, when God has delivered a soul, it's for you to run for your life until yes. the day you draw your last breath. Evil pursuits sinners, but to the righteous, good. Pursue to follow in order to overtake, yes. to capture, to kill, to follow close upon. The object, the object of the enemy is to have total control over an individual. My Lord, my and to be able to use the individual as he wishes to perform his dirty work. And in the same process, to destroy the individual who he is using as, as an instrument. You see? I want you to know that, that we are creatures of influence. We influence each other. My Lord. And, and evil will use a human being. See, see, evil can only inhabit humans. Mm -hmm. Animals act out like right? they act instinctively. Right. Yes. However, when man is controlled by the spirit of evil, by the devil himself, mm -hmm. he is controlled by evil, and therefore, every move is his, of his, uh, though he may, there may be some good in that individual, but eventually, it's going to be to his detriment. My Lord. The purpose of Jesus Christ, he died.
die so that you and I can be free Amen. from the devil's grip. Oh, yes. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses. Yes. It is only when Jesus Christ comes into our lives that we, ate, we, 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 we come to the place where we now begin to live. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he dies so that the, the Adamic nature which is within mankind can be destroyed. That's, right. oh, that's the purpose of his death. Right. Yes. And you see, carnality, the devil only feeds on carnality. He only feeds on carnality. But if there's no carnality in me, through the power of Jesus Christ, having destroyed the Adamic nature through the Holy Ghost, the devil cannot work. Amen. He is powerless to work because there is nothing in me for him to work with and right. through. I can no longer be used as his instrument right. yes, sir. because the Adamic nature is no longer within. That's right. The devil wants to take advantage. Many people, many times, will destroy, or most, if not all the time. The Bible says, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. right. Now let's turn to the book of Romans, please. Chapter 6. Bring it out, brother. Yeah. Romans 6. Begin from verse 1, please. Romans 6, verse 1. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Let's get to that. God forbid. God forbid. Oh, what an <laughs> God forbid. Continue. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Mm -hmm. Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? Therefore we are buried with him by the prison into death. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. Right here, mm -hmm. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, destroyed. that henceforth we should not serve sin. Mm -hmm. I'm going to break that scripture down Come on, brother. a little bit. The enemy of our souls, he schemes, he plans, he strategizes, and he means no good for you and I. Amen. Absolutely no good. Amen. Evil pursues sinners. The Bible says, no, don't turn to that. And in Proverbs 29 verse 6, in the transgression of an evil man, there is a snare. In the transgression of an evil man, there is a snare. I had a tremendous experience, which I learned from some years ago. And the experience, my neighbor began to feed cows. To the point where it was becoming unbearable. Because you know what cats do? They go around the perimeter of property and begin to relieve themselves the urination, and I have people come to my house and smells. What's the smell? I requested for the neighbor to stop feeding the cats. She decided not to. She seemed to have a love for these animals. That's fine. The cats creatures. However, they won't. They won't. They will not start. So I decided to take it upon myself to catch them. But how did I do that? I know what they love. And I know it's irresistible. <laughs> so what I decided to do, I, bought, I obtained a trap to catch them humanely. And I put something in there they could not resist. The trap is a snare. 
And I want you to know, as I put the tribe out, I pull up a little bit of tuna and oil. Within less than five minutes, and I stood in my window of the house, and I watched. I watched the first one, the second one, the third one. Now, brother, brother, this may sound humorous, but I want you to understand something this morning. Understand this. As I watched every, oh, sorry, every, every cat that got caught. Just about every one of them had another cat watch him get caught. Listen, 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 Kevin. As soon as they walked into the trap, the bait that was used, they couldn't stop themselves from going into the trap. Now, as soon as they got in, and the door snapped, it began to spin. They're not concerned about the bait anymore. They begin to spend chasing their tail in the trap. And the others come and look at him. And look! And look! And here I come. And they scatter. I grab the trap, put it in a bag, take it to the SBCA, some of them, and some, I let go to different neighborhoods. What <laughs> 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 I want you to understand this morning. Let's, let's turn to that, please. Proverbs 20, number 6. I want to see how the edit works. Proverbs 29, verse 6. Read one. In the transgression of an evil man, there is a snare. In the transgression of an evil man, there is a snare. But the righteous got sin. There is a snare. Here now, there is a trap to capture. And it's exactly what I did. And I watched. I want you to know that. Every one of us that came from sin, we all gave ourselves to something. Something took up the affection of our hearts, and we couldn't stop doing it. Yeah. It took up the affection. It was our love. There was a certain fondness. There was a certain affinity, whether it's to the man, to the woman, to the music, to the entertainment, to the drug, to the booze, or whatever it was. We gave ourselves to it, but now it began as a very harmless. It began very uh, fun. It was fun. At the beginning, at the outset. Right. But now, at, at a certain time, as we begin to give ourselves more, and we begin to be enslaved and entrapped and captivated, the enemy has captivated us. No, it's no longer fun anymore. Now I'm trying to get out of it, but I can't. It's caught me. I'm trapped. Hold on. I can't. But I'm not going to say I'm going to work. I have to keep doing it. Yeah. But I'm trying to stop it. I can't. Yeah. I'm trying to stop it. I can't. Now I'm trying to come crying. Now I'm stopping. But now I find myself dragged over and get the same thing. You know how many people are bound this morning? You know how many people are enslaved this morning to sin? They can't stop what they're doing? Yes, sir. How yes, dare you that God saved you and you go back to the beggarly island to the world? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How dare you that God saved you and you go back again yes, to what? That's it. To what? To go back to what? Yes, and the church members are saying, oh, oh, we want to go back to the leaves, we want to go back to the onions. Yes. To go back to what? You mean after, after the devil done whoop you out of sin? You didn't, you, didn't get, you, didn't, you didn't get enough? So the enemy will manage to deceive you. Mm. See, the nature of, deceit, of, 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 of deceitfulness is the fact that it's concealed. It's concealment. And so you really don't see what's going on. It's a trap. It's a trap. The Bible just says it in the back to Romans chapter 6. Romans 6, 6. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with Knowing him. this, look. <laughs> Through the power of repentance. Mm -hmm. Through the power of repentance, asking God to forgive you, we enter into a right relationship with God. And what repentance is, is, is asking God to forgive with the willingness to forsake all of your past sins. I said all, not some, all. <laughs> All of your passion to yes. forsake and to abandon and coming broken and contrite before God, say, Lord, forgive me. I am never going back to the past life of sin again. I'm done. I'm through. I'm finished. Have mercy. Now you now you enter the relationship with God. That's right. My Lord. That's right. That's right. See, the world gives people such a false hope. You cannot be saved and still be sinning. That's 
Amen. My Amen. Lord, brother, you cannot be saved and still dibble and dabble in sin. Amen. My Amen. Lord, brother, God detests sin. Yes. My Lord, there's yes. no way you can, so you can call, you can profess Christianity mm -hmm. and don't have the goods. Listen. You can't hold on to anything that is contrary to the principles, principles of God My and Lord. still call yourself a Christian. That's right. My Lord. That's right. That's right. You can't have any affinity to the world and still be a Christian. Mm -hmm. My Lord. When God sanctifies a soul, we know, so not after justification, the second work of grace is called sanctification, where now uh, the Holy Ghost comes to live within you. In the Old Testament, God desired to dwell among the people. He couldn't dwell in them then because Jesus had not yet come, he had not yet died, and the Holy Ghost had not yet been given. But today he, he comes because he has died, and the Holy Ghost has come, he comes to live within the heart of man, yeah. within a clean heart. Yeah, a clean heart. Yeah. The Holy Ghost cannot dwell in an unclean temple. It must first be clean. Yeah. And he had to ask, had to ask God to forgive him. Yeah. And he had, he had to have uh, the willingness to forsake all sin. Yeah. Yes, now to be sanctified, that individual yes. Yes, must come to God yes, with a desire, letting God know he is coming to him unreservedly to give God all his time. All of his talents, yeah. everything that belongs. Full consecration, brother. Full, complete consecration before oh, God. God. Yeah. Dead to the world, dead to sin and his pleasures, yeah. dead to everything. Consecrate my time, my talents, my energy, all to God. When you come like that, clean. What a beautiful sight. The Holy Ghost yes. now will come and come fill in. your time. Yes. yes, yes. Now the Bible says here in verse 6 oh, Knowing this, no. that our old man. Brother, I'm afraid all day today that the yeah. old man is not crucified. He's just paralyzed. Mm -hmm. oh, He's not crucified. What is that old man you're talking about? What is that? Adam. In the garden of Eden. When he sinned. When he sinned. The entire world was plunged into darkness. Because of the sin of Adam. Every man that is born on the face of this earth is born with a nature called the Adamic nature. Right. This is why you do not have to teach a child to sin. Yeah. A child is born like, why? Right. Because a child has a certain nature in it. Right. And the nature of the child is sinful. Okay. And therefore the child will automatically die, automatically manifest you. So there is, when, when you consider, a, when you think about a lion or a lamb, there are two, two animals. They each have a different nature. Right. The nature of the lion is a, a, a ferocious animal. The nature of the lamb is a docile, it's a docile nature. Okay, it's just it's the nature of, of the animal. Now, the nature of man is depraved. The Bible tells us in Jeremiah, the heart of man is deceitful and is desperately wicked. Okay? Now it also tells us, the book of Mark tells us, the gospel tells us, out of the heart of man proceed evil thoughts. Yeah. Out of the heart proceed. It's not what goes into the man that defies the man, it's what comes out of him. That's right. Okay? So now, when we were born, we were born, when Adam was born, Adam was born with this heart. Yes. Come on, brother. Yes. I said, pure, a pure heart. When we were born, we were, when, when we were born, we were born with this little nature in here. Little thing in there. Cute little baby. Cute little baby with devil in him. Oh, Cute little girl with devil in him. Cute. Five, five, six years old, they're ready to slap you in your face and go train the point. My Lord. That's right. That's right. Bring it out. And if you don't train, you grow like a wild lady. Soon you'll, be, soon you'll pick him up at the police station. Oh, my Lord, brother. It's a matter of time. Yeah. I restrict the children. My Lord. So now, over time, over time, we become, uh, we, uh, that child becomes a teenager. Now it begins to look at the opposite sex in them. Oh boy. And they have, they have some interest now. Nobody had to teach that child that. 
My Lord. So now you get to commit all evil, all kinds of sins. Yeah? Stealing, cheating, yeah. fornicating, pornography, all types of sins. My Lord, brother. Yeah. But glory be to God. We thank God for the Son, for Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible always says, no one lives like an old man. So that old man is that Adamic nature. That old man is that nature that causes people to sin every now and then. But God, God hates the sin in man. But he loves man. Yes. He hates the sin of pornography, but he loves man. Yes. But he hates the sin of adultery, but he loves man. Yes. He hates the sin in the in man. Yes. And when I say man, I'm man yes. to woman. Yes. My Lord, brother. Yes. Now let's turn to the book of Ephesians, please. Good word. Ephesians chapter 2. Read from me, verse 1. And you have he quickened who are dead in trespasses and sin. You have the quickened who are dead. So before we got saved, we were dead in sins. Understand that? Before we got saved, we were dead in sin. We did all these things here. You may not be able to see this a bit small. We, which one of us did not sin? Every one of us sin. Brother, you didn't have to come in the act. All you had to do is think about it. We didn't sin. My Lord, brother, as our brother, as our brother said yesterday, which is, which, is, which is scriptural, if you look at a woman to lust, you commit adultery. Right, brother. God looks at the very intents of the motives of the heart. Right, brother. So you look at a woman passing by, when you like to have her, well, you just sin. Right, Even though you that, you had her in your mind. You just sin. Jesus. You had her already. My Lord. Look, I want you to know something. God goes deep. Yes, sir. He goes way down. He looks at the very intent of the heart of man. Right, right. So here we are. Here we are. Right? We're a dead in sin. We did all these evil things. And you have the quickened. Oh, glory to God. We'll all be quickened. You see, we'll be quickened. We'll be quickened. We were, we were dead. We were dead. But we'll be quickened. Keep reading, please. I was the one first I wanted to. And you have the quickened who are dead in trespasses and sins, wherein in time past you walked according oh, to the course of this world. Oh, we all walked, every one of us, we all walked according to the course of this world. Right? Yes. According to the Spirit. According to the Prince of the power of the air. According to the Prince of the power of the air, uh -huh. the Spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. <laughs> Among whom also we all had our conversation. We all had our conversation in times past. In, times past, in the lust of in our the flesh. lust and the desires of our flesh. Fulfilling the desires we of the flesh. Full, listen, we were fulfilling the desires of the fulfilling the desire. But they had people like to live for the gratification of the senses. That's what we did. We all did that. Fulfilling the we were gratifying our flesh. Whatever felt good, we did it. It brought temporary oh. satisfaction. Come on, brother. It's because we're seeking God. We're seeking God through the different avenues of this life. Trying to find God through the, the wrong avenue. Go ahead. Fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and the way by nature, the children of man. We were by nature. We were by nature the children of wrath. Even as others. Even as others. But God. But God. But God. Who is rich in mercy. For his great love. For his great love. Where is he loved us? Where he loved us. Even when we were dead in sin. Even when, oh glory to God. Even when we were dead in sin. Has quickened us together. He has quickened us together with Christ. By grace. By grace. Ye are saved. Brother, he has quickened us together. Verse 6. And have raised us up together, mm -hmm. and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Thank the Lord. He has raised us up together, and made us to sit Thank in the heavenly Lord. places in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Back to Romans chapter 6. Thank God for mercy. Oh, what, what does sanctification do for us? What does sanctification do for us? That nature that is within man, that is an evil nature. Jesus came to eradicate that nature from us so that we no longer live like animals. That nature, it, within that nature of sin, in the unregenerated, 
there's always the tendency, the inclination, the propensity to sin. When God sanctifies an individual, there's no longer the, 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 the desire, the tendency, the propensity to sin. Hello, brother. It's over. This is why the Bible says, knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him. Jesus was crucified on the cross. Crucified for you and I. The death of Christ spells the destruction of the old man. And so, when you consider crucifixion, it was a slow death. Horrible. Horrible. Yes, horrible. It was a horrible death. The result of the old man's crucifixion is a destruction of the body of sin. Now Paul here turns to verse, verse 6. Knowing this, verse 6, 6. Knowing this, that, all, that our old man is crucified with him. Because the old man is crucified with him. That the body of sin might be the The old man, man, the old nature, the body of sin, the old man is crucified with him. That was the, the body of sin. The body of sin. Might be destroyed. They, they are actually synonymous. Okay. However, the first expresses the nature of the man, of man, and the second, the organized form. We'll look at that. So, with the inner, with the inner man, we have his spirit and soul, its nature. Is spiritual within the body. The Bible says the body of sin might be destroyed. Let's go over to Ephesians four, verse twenty-two. That you put off concerning the former conversation, the old man. The old man. That you do what? You put off. You cannot be sanctified and continue or have any affinity. You cannot love the world. The Bible says love not the world. The world is not material. It's talking about love not anything that, that, that is against the principles of God. As the brother said yesterday, anything contrary to the nature of God. Love it not. Come, you have to come to hate it. Love not the world. Neither the things of the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Amen. Yes. The fashions of the world. Amen. The dress of the world. The way people adorn themselves. But then there, I'll tell you, there is no way an individual could advance in his spiritual life if there is the slightest affinity to the world. That's good. That's good. I said the slightest. I. Was at the airport on the way here, and I noticed something different. I noticed they had two dogs. Now, before we actually go through the scanner, they stopped at one, and they would have two people walk at a time to get to the, to the, to the other line. And they had a dog there. They would have the dog walk across the void. After you walk, the dog walks behind you and he sniffs. Mm -hmm. Well, the purpose for this is yeah. to see if, if there is any, if you have any drugs. Not dogs. Let me read this to you. Dogs possess up to 300 million olfactory receptors in their noses. Compared to about six million in us. Three hundred million to six million. And the part of a dog's brain that is devoted to any to analyzing smell is proportionately speaking forty times greater than ours. Forty times. So the olfactory, meaning the sense of smell, the olfactory acuity, meaning the keenness and the sharpness of the dog which can detect the order of concentration, listen, levels, is about one to two parts per trillion. And that is roughly 
10,000 to 100,000 times that of the human. So you mean to tell me, one to two parts per trillion, that animal is able to detect what's within your luggage. God goes even deeper than that. My Lord. That means the slightest vestige, residue. Lord help us. I mean, the slightest streak of sin that might be in you. God detects it. He cannot be kept. My Lord, brother. All right, all right now. Brother, this is no joke. My Lord, yes, sir. This is no joke. Man. God says, I'm looking for a perfected life. Don't tell me that the body of sin is destroyed. However, there's a spirit that faintly breathing within you. Don't tell me the body of sin is destroyed. And there is, there is an element of evil within you. All right. There's a little attitude. Yes. There's, there's a spirit of not cooperation in, within the body. Read the word. How, how can the body of sin be destroyed? The Bible says, knowing this, therefore, that, that old man is crucified. The old man is crucified. The old man is crucified. You know what it means to be crucified? The thieves. As well as Jesus, they were nailed. They were nailed about seven inches long within the, within the hands and within their feet. And not only that, the thief's legs were broken. Why did they break the thief's legs? Because they used to use the leg muscles for inhalation. Because they're being suspended. Now, mind you, when those nails are driven, they're driven, no doubt, the ulnar nerve. There's, at, at times, the, the hand become paralyzed because they've gone through some uh, nerve. But now, they want to make their, 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 their crucifixion even more painful. Because now, they can push with their legs even though they're in pain. But now when the legs are broken off, now they, they're actually Aww. suspended. Mm. So now the sockets, so, so, so now the, 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 the shoulder sockets are being uh, elongated because now all, all the, all, all the uh, soft tissue is being, is being stretched. Can you just imagine with the pain the pain, excruciating pain that Jesus went through for you and I. My Lord, right. His legs would not be broken because you can't, this, because the spirit can't break the spirit. My Lord, brother. The body of Jesus Christ cannot be broken, cannot be divided. Right, right. So his legs are not broken. However, still, the pain involved, the slow, painful, excruciating pain of death. The Bible says, knowing this, I, that our old man, Jesus died for you and I. Yes. And his life. And he's saying, I died so that through his resurrection, through the Holy Ghost, the, the Adamic nature can be slain. Amen. My Lord. Thank you, Jesus. What an obligation that we have to live for the Almighty mm -hmm. in this sinful dark world. So the slightest trace of the old nature can cause and will cause you to revert. Mm -hmm. I said the slightest trace. You see, because if the old nature is destroyed, those of you who are saved have a sweet experience with God. We need to understand that there's a, we have the human aspect. We have the five senses that God has given us. And we will always have emotions running up and down. Because a person has emotions run up and down, uh, disappointment, maybe if you're disappointed, you feel sad, that does not mean that you're That's not right. sad. That's right. Okay, so we have to understand what we're doing. It does not mean that I'm, per I'm absolutely perfect. No, we can be perfect in spirit. Praise the Lord. We can make a mistake. It's okay. It's going by sin. My Lord, brother. God's design, God's purpose. Is that this this root, this root can be destroyed. When that root is destroyed, there will never be, I said never be evil propensities. Nothing evil will come out of your mouth. You will never criticize. You will never speak evil to anyone. Or about anyone. Right, or will not think evil. All right, now. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. Amen. That's the power of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Glory. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Ephesians 4, 
22, that he put off concerning what? The former, at verse 22. Mm -hmm. And he put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. He put off concerning the former conversation, the old man. Read for me, please. Verse 25. Wherefore, putting away lying. Putting away what? Lying. Speak every man truth. Speak every man truth with, with, his, neighbor. with his neighbor. For we are members one of another. Look at that. We are what? Members, glory to God, one of another. Look, you can't join the church of God. Don't you know that? He asked the church, they have been such as shouldn't say. My Lord, brother. Amen. 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 With church of God, you're going to put your name on the road. Glory to God. Brother, you, you, you pay tithe from a loving heart. Man, Don't put your name on the roll and check to see if you're in good standing. But the Lord knows what you did last night. The Lord knows what you did last night. Yeah. He knows what you did behind those doors. Yeah. He knows what you did with your pro pro creative functions. Yes, sir. He knows. Oh, he knows. Yes, he knows. He knows if you're just playing games. Uh, he's going to look good in front of the brother. Hey, yes, he knows how to fight you in your bedroom. Yes, sir. Lord, brother. Lord, brother. Lord, brother. Verse 26. Be angry and sin not. Be angry and sin not. Look, we can have moments of displeasure. It's not wrong. But the Bible says they're not sinning. They keep spirit, right? Because your teenager not starting to act up and his voice is changing. Yeah. And uh, that doesn't mean you got to punch him in the face. That's right. Come on now. The gentleman told me to say, I think he said his son straight one day because he was in martial arts and he set him straight. Boom! But after that, he got respect for us. No, no, that's not God's way. That's not God's way. My Lord, brother, God's way. We need you to talk to him. There's a certain age, there's a certain age you talk to them. We don't punch them. We don't smack our children in the face. My Lord, yeah, I, I, they have. My, 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 my parents are dead to me, but it's okay. They won't say But we say you know better. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we must do better. Oh, God. God expects us to do better. Yeah. Amen. 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 Verse 27. The Bible says, be a great sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your head. 27. Neither give place to the devil. Neither give place to the devil. 28. Let him that stole steal Let him no that more. stole steal no more. That means you shouldn't you should you shouldn't envy your brother either. There should be no malice in the heart. I'm talking about a a, a, a cruise uh, where where the endemic nature is destroyed. There's no more malice. There's no more envy. There's no more jealousy. My Lord, brother, yes, sir. Brother, if the Lord blesses you, praise God, I'm going to praise God with you. Amen. Yes, sir. If the Lord got $200,000 job, and I'm going to make you $50,000, God bless you. Amen. If you're not really obligated to give me anything. Amen. 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 Everything we did in sin, everything we did in sin, understand this. I don't care if it, it was all in that lifestyle, whatever you did in sin, whatever it is, mm -hmm. there's a spirit attached to it. That's right. That's there's right. a spirit attached to it. My God. Look. Co worker of mine went to his house, we started together. Went to his house, noticed the raccoon in his room, and the raccoon was inside, and he called pest control. Mm. Put the truck right on top of the roof. Raccoons caught. Mm. They covered it up. It's the sheet metal, the hole. Within a week's time, raccoon was back in. They live in families. How dare you evict me? <laughs> <laughs> the devil says, How dare you evict me? When Jesus comes within the soul, it's serious. It's not God. Understand now, let's do this. Come on, bro. When Jesus comes within the life, they both cannot inhabit. There are two kingdoms. The kingdom of Satan, the kingdom of God. Amen. You get saved, you're no longer the kingdom of Satan, you're the kingdom of God. Amen. Okay? Now you get saved, if God comes to hold in you, the Holy Ghost comes to hold in your soul. Yes. Yes. The, the, yes. Devil, the devil has no play in your life anymore. Yes. You make sure you, you keep it that way. Yes. But that don't mean it's first time I keep coming. That's right. I want back in. Uh -huh. I want back in. See, many people they, they can't stop the jewelry. They can't stop the this. They can't stop the smoking. Look, I want you to know that whatever you did in sin, the devil got your fire. Not only that, there's a spirit attached to it. Yeah. And, this, and this spirit got to be destroyed. Okay. That's the purpose of the Holy Ghost. It empowers you. It enables you to go and destroy every spirit that once had control over you. 
That's the purpose of the Holy Ghost. Yes. And therefore, there's some monsters that you have to deal with. Do you remember when they entered the land of Canaan? My Lord, brother, died. And then when they crossed the Jordan and entered the Canaan, which was typical of our sanctification, they began to gain ground. They began to fight the enemies. Mm. And the enemies were symbolic of sin. Mm. So not everything that you ever gave yourself to was sin. Smoking, mm -hmm. adultery, fornication, the fashion of this world. Some people just love their hats. They just love that five, five inch heels. They just love to walk and show it off. Go ahead, brother. They, 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 look, they, they, they just look at it. They just look at it. They're full of pride. They're full of everything. Look, all those spirits that you've given yourself, you've given yourself over to. God says it got to be destroyed. This is why you have to have the Holy Ghost. Because without the Holy Ghost, you can't. You cannot do it. It's impossible. Yes. And this is where destroy every spirit. The spirit of pride, the spirit of envy, the spirit of malice, the spirit yes. of lust, yes. Yes. The, the spirit of fashion, the, yes. the spirit of the bling spirit. I gotta have my, I gotta have my bling. I gotta have my bling. Yes, I need. The smoking spirit. <laughs> oh, oh, the spirit. Oh, the homosexual spirit. Every spirit got to be That's right, brother. Every spirit. Praise the Lord. God, God empowers you so that so that you can come like this. When He sanctifies you, you become like this. Purity. When he sanctifies you, you become you become restored. You yeah, yeah, yeah. to the demonic standard. But we we're not just acting to be no, no, brother. We are Christians, thank God. Oh, yes. Well, it's not that I cannot I cannot act like a sinner man. I don't want to act like a sinner man. Amen. And God empowers me not to act like a sinner man. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Too many people call themselves Christians and, and they don't live right. Oh, Lord. 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 Brother, the destruction of the old man is important. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. It is important. Yes, but then God, God says, come and learn of his ways. He said, I'm Lord, I'm meek and lonely. He says, I'm Lord, come and learn. Come and sit at my feet, come and learn. Come and study. Come and sit. We have to apply ourselves. Yes. Yes. Lord, if you do his will, he'll teach you the doctrine. You see, he says, come and do, and then I'll teach you. He says, come and learn and then do. <laughs> Come on. Do his will. Do his will. That's right. That's right. God wants us to do his will. The only way the sinner man's going to be convinced. I tell you, there's no greater witness to know that you're on the job. People love you living right. Mm -hmm. They know by deportment that you something, something different about you. Yes. At times you don't even have to say anything. Yes, sir. But they begin to go, oh, stop it. Excuse my mom. I didn't say a word. I didn't say a word. Yes, sir. No, there's, 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 a, certain, there's a certain weight your life carries. Mm -hmm. So true. The, 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 the old man must, I brethren, it must be crucified. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, there's just too many. Uh, let's read for me, please. Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. Then you cannot, you cannot, even so often, when Saul, when Saul, when Samuel went to Saul, and, and, Sam, and Samuel said, I have performed, I've done everything that God told me to do. Mm -hmm. But there was an evidence that, that everything uh -huh. was not. Done as the way God had commanded. And what was the evidence? The evidence was the sheep were fleeting. That's the evidence. What's the evidence that you didn't do all that God said? Because God. There's, there's something in your life that, that I've seen. Remember Paul told the Corinthian church? You're a yet carnal. Good, you're, you're a yet carnal. I see some evidence in your life that tells me that you're not whole. That tells me you're not sanctified. That tells me you don't have the work completed in your soul. Amen. My Lord. Yes, uh, yes. There's, some, there's some element that tells me, look, you're at home with your, with your husband, and you just blah, 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 talk too much. No one in that can't say, say it. I'm not giving an excuse. When, when the Holy Ghost is in you, you're not contentious. Yeah, you're not contentious. Mm -hmm. You're a student. Mm -hmm. Saints of God, brethren, when a man is sanctified, he's easily, he's easily treated. Yeah. He's easily treated. Galatians 2, verse 20. Oh, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I, am I live. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I. But Christ liveth in me. I am the embodiment of all the graces. All oh, glory to God. He's living within me. That, that means he, everything I do reflects him. 
Because he lives in me. He lives in me. That's when the, when, when the carnal, when the when carnality is destroyed within the life of an individual, you see the true beauty. See, many people try to enhance their beauty, makeup, gold, fashion. They try to enhance themselves. The Bible says God will beautify you. He beautifies the meat with salvation. You don't have to enhance your beauty. You just live right, glory to God. You, you just let, let the Holy Ghost uh, tend to your spirit. Amen. You begin, you begin to sweeten you up. You go through your trials. When you're supposed to go through your trials, you begin overcoming. As the trials come, you overcome, you overcome. But the God is just, just adding not, just adding stripes to, the, to your belt. Just adding stripes. Why? Wow, you overcome. So he that overcome, I make a pillar. You're just overcoming. And God begins to just, to, your spirit is become, become more like Christ and more like Christ and more like Christ. As a brother, this, you become patient. You become more gentle. You become more kind. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Your spirit becomes sweet. Yes. But we've got to work on this. Thank you, Lord. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I. Yet not I. But Christ liveth in me. But Christ liveth in me. Look, the nature must not, not, must not be subdued, held down, suppressed. It must be destroyed. Amen. It must be destroyed. And that's done through sanctification. There is no growth unless a person gets sanctified. Mm -hmm. My Lord, brother. You, there's growth in sanctification. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, and that God desires for us to be perfect, be perfect even as my Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. That does not mean that I uh, I, I will never have disappointment. It does not mean that I will never uh, I'll never feel bad in my life if something bad happens to me. Mm -hmm. Come on. Well, okay. I can feel bad and go straight to heaven. That's right. If you step on my toe, I'm gonna I'm gonna say thank the Lord. It hurts. <laughs> if you step on my corner, I'm gonna say thank God you stepped on my corner. <laughs> but I'll say, ouch, that'd be no profanity come out. That's right. Good work, brother. Yes. Sir. yes. Sir. yes. <laughs> crucified. I'm crucified with you. Is there, is there, is there? Any, has there been any action in your life that you've been trying, you've been saying throughout your life that, oh, that's just the way I am. Look, many of us have been wounded in life. We've come from, some people have come from dysfunctional homes and yes. they've been uh, traumatized yes. in one way or another. And, and however, there's no excuse. I want you to know tonight. Yes. I want you today. Come on, preach, bro. That the same God was able to cleanse you from sin is yes. the same God that can help you find emotional freedom. Yes, amen. Yes, yes. same God, on, brother. Amen. Help you find emotional yes. freedom. Amen. Don't you go to emotional freedom therapy. God is the one. Yes. 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 Don't you be going to psychiatrists? They need help themselves. Oh, 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 oh,
Good word, brother. Verse 24. My, my, my. And they that are of Christ have crucified the flesh. They, the flesh look, look, they that are Christ. He owns them. They that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust. Now look, there are two meanings for the flesh, okay? This here is carnality. Okay? Right, right. The meaning here for the flesh is carnality, not this flesh that bleeds. If you cut it. Master, Amen. Master, okay? Master, Understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, in, in, in the Bible also says that, uh, that Jesus himself said, the spirit is willing, but willing, the flesh is weak. Speaking about human nature, not yeah. the nature, yeah. human yeah. nature. Good. Okay? Many times we have, we desire to do things, and, or we, we procrastinate. It's your, it's, your, it's, your, it's, your, it's your human nature that's going through, through these uh, up and down emotions going up and down. And see, we need to come to, see, when, when, when the Adamic nature is crucified, see, God does not, not only that we, we have complete control, we must, that, let me just rephrase that. We must come to a place where we overcome sin in every area. Yes. Amen. Have complete control over ourselves. All right. Yes. Yes. Sure. That's a complete control. Okay. Where we come to master ourselves. Yes. We're not moved by emotion or we're not governed by emotions that we're going through at that time. Amen. Listen, listen, my God, amen. See, many people you'd be surprised when people are moved by emotion. Uh, right. Mm. And they act out because they feel a certain way. No, 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 no. There's a certain composure. Jesus never did that. Mm. He never he never acted out by emotion. Very composed. Very composed. The spirit of quietness. They that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections. See, affections. The Bible says in, in Colossians chapter 3, verse 1, set your affection on things above and not on things of this earth. Set your affection on things above. Mm -hmm. See, wow. the affection of the heart must not be my divided. God. My God, my God. We must give God our all. Yeah. See, love the Lord like our all that Yes, sir. Heart. Yes, sir. All I saw, all that yeah. all everything. Yeah. Must, they cannot be anything unscriptural within this heart of ours. Oh, yeah. I said nothing. Gotcha. Not the slightest idol, not the slightest tree, not the slightest bit of carnality. Let's turn over to Numbers 33, please. Numbers 33, 55. There's a stability we must have in our experiences, there's a rootedness, groundedness. God wants to be established. There's a process to be established. Numbers 33, verse 55. But if he will not dry out the inheritance of the land from before you, then it shall come to pass that those which he let remain of them that shall that those which ye let remain of them shall be pricks prick in your eyes and thorns in your side and shall vex you in the land wherein ye dwell. When an individual was saved, the children, of, the children of Israel, when they entered the Canaan, God had told them to destroy everything. Right. Oh. Let nothing, leave nothing to breathe. Look at the desperate children. Nothing to breathe. I just saying, if you don't drive them out, so in other words, in a new covenant, if after God has sanctified your soul, has sanctified and he not empowers you to overcome every spirit that you ever gave yourself to and see. And he says, if you, he told the children, that if you don't drive out the inhabitants of the land from before you, then shall come to pass, and those which you let remain, what they're going to do? They're going to be pricks in your eyes, and thorns in your side, and they shall vex you in the land where you know. Joshua 23. 11, 13. Joshua 23, 11, 13. Joshua 23. 11 to 13. Take them here therefore unto yourselves, 
And he loved the Lord your God. Listen, listen. Take good heed, brethren. Take good heed. Mm -hmm. In other words, uh, take time to be with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Take time to study the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Take time to let them sink in. That word I, I, that I have I hid in my heart. Yes. That I might not sit against the heart. Yes. Keep your heart. Keep your heart. Keep, yes. keep, your, keep yourself in the love of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Take good heed. Take good heed then for you unto yourself that ye love the Lord your God. Lord. Make sure he had he he's at the very throne of your heart. I mean, my dear God, he has all of your affection. Remember David said, Lord, I have set my affection to the house of God. Set my affection. I set my Lord, my God. Yes, sir. Set yes, it, sir. set it, set it. Yes. Take good heed. Go ahead. Else he do in any wise go back. And flee. It says here, now look, take good heed that you love the Lord your God. Else. If you do in any wise, go back. Go ahead. And cleave unto the remnant of these nations, Listen. even these that remain. Cleave unto the remnant. You see, that some things, see, not every spirit is going to go right away. Some spirits are difficult to deal with. And therefore, you may have to turn and clean down fast. You have to have such a ferocious determination to overcome this thing that has been a giant in your life for the past 25 years. It's not going to leave just like that. You're going to have to, 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 to consecrate. You're going to have to fast. You're going to have to go before God in dead earnest to be able to destroy this giant that's been in your life. It's got you going in and out, 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 in and out. As you gave yourself to my Lord. Else, if, if ye do in any wise go back and cleave unto the remnant of these nations, even these that remain among you, and shall make marriages with them, uh -huh. and go in unto them, and they to you. 13. Know for certainty. God say, Look, know for certainty. That the Lord your God will no more drive out any of these nations from before you, but they shall be snares and traps unto you. Right now, the same thing that you, you were supposed to overcome has become your snare. And you, you, and you have to deal with every spirit in totality. See, you can't, this is why you can't let anything, you can't kill it 99.9%. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's got to be destroyed, annihilated. Mm -hmm. When you, do you, you have a go to the burger inside? Do you, do you expect anybody to come out the grave? <laughs> My Lord, I don't. Well, same thing with this. It's the same thing in Christian life. If it's dead, there'll never be an evil attitude. There'll never be the spirit of lust, the spirit of covetousness. There'll never be. Why? The old man is dead. I've dealt with every spirit. I've dealt with everything that ever had control over my life. I've dealt with it. I've dealt with my mouth. Sassy mouth, I've dealt with it. Maybe, you're, maybe, maybe your mouth just destroyed your marriage. I've dealt with it. I've learned to be quiet. See? I've learned to listen more and speak less. Amen. Amen. If you make marriages among them, oh dear God, look, there's some people. Look, there's some people who haven't settled. Uh, they want to. They, 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 they're getting older. Maybe they're approaching 40 and 42 and 43 and 44 young lady. And don't go out there and go get a husband now. The Bible says don't be unequally yoked. Amen. We're going to believe it. Don't, don't do that. Lord, uh, well, look, you, you sin against God when you do that. Mm -hmm. The Bible says don't do it. That's right. You sin against God. Lord. You sin. Yes. The word. Well, this is why you have that control over your flesh. You got to settle it. Look, I said, so to say to New York recently, look, it's better that, I, that you, it's better that you go to heaven without a man than go to hell with a man. Right, right, right. And, and look, when you say I do, it's over. It's finished. That means that you'll be with this woman the rest of your life. My Lord, right. brother. You're gonna be with this man the rest of your life. Serious, brother. That's right. Amen. So can, can she can you see her as the mother of your children? Wow. Can you see him as the father of your children? My Lord. Lord. Look, this is serious, this is serious business. Listen up, <laughs> my God, listen up. Amen. You better be willing to call that off. If you see anything that shouldn't be, I'm gonna call this off. My Lord. Joshua 10, chapter 10. Oh, Read verse 40, please. Oh, 
So Joshua smote all the country of the hills and of the south and of the vale. What verse? Verse 40. Joshua 10, verse 40. And Joshua smote all the country of the hills and of the south and of the vale. And of the springs mm -hmm. and all their kings. He left none. He remaining. left none remaining. But utterly destroyed but all utterly that destroyed all that breed. As the Lord God of Israel. As the Lord God of Israel commanded. Mm. Brother, we're not talking about the paralysis of the old man, we're talking about the crucifixion of the old man. Follow. Too many people have been paralyzed, he's still alive. But if he's still alive, he's gonna manifest himself one way or the other. All he needs is the opportunity to the, 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 the environment, the situation is right, it's going to manifest itself, and you cannot stop it. Mm. But if there's nothing there, but oh, glory to God, nothing will be manifested. Evil, that's evil. Joshua 11, 11. Joshua, chapter 11, verse 11. And they smote all the souls that were therein with the edge of the sword, utterly destroying them. There was not any left to breathe, and he burnt his There was not any left to answer the question tonight. Is anything faintly breathing in your experience? Is any spirit faintly breathing? Uh, it may not manifest itself every month. Let me manifest this up every six months. Or once a year. Yes. Because the situation is just not right for it to be manifested. But then what are you doing? It does manifest itself. God showed us this perfect. There are times we think we're above, uh, we're reaching a certain place. But, but when situations occur, for God to help you to see your condition, brother, you got to deal with that. Yes. You got to deal with that. Yes. 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 See, God will be tolerating you. Yes. He's just tolerating you at this point. And he's giving you a chance. There's no, it's not one of those things that we didn't have ample time in the life to deal with things. Mm -hmm. But God gave us another time. Yes, sir, bro. Oh, he gives us time. Man. Oh. Why didn't you? What's your excuse? Why didn't you? What's your excuse? Oh, <laughs> oh Lord, the wife that you gave me, Adam and Eve, I have the wife, the wife you gave me, Lord. Oh, 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 Lord. And I'm coming from a hard place. As a matter of fact, I was using a jackhammer, jackhammer today. I've got no strength left in me. I just need to complete it for me. There's no food, and she's not in the house. No, what's going on? Mm -hmm. Well, may God help me tell my spirit. It doesn't matter what my wife does. It doesn't matter what how she acts, what she says, what she does. My spirit will be untouched, unmoved. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. I'm talking about the crucifixion of the old man. I'm talking about having complete control over yourself, mastering your own self. Yeah, Most yes, people don't don't have himself mastered. I've mastered myself. Yes, oh, boy. That's it, brother. Well, you you be happy in this because you mastered yourself. <laughs> you just have to be able to stay composed. Jesus stood <laughs> being interrogated. Are oh, you king of the Jews? Thou say, well composed. Well, couldn't move. Couldn't move. And brother, we we are we are, we're his children, and therefore we are we are to be the same same way. Yeah, no different. Man, amen. That old spirit of pride is still in you. That old selfishness is still in you. That old jealousy spirit is still in you. That old fashioned spirit is still in you. God says if it's not all destroyed, if there's something breathing, then you're not gonna make you're not gonna make heaven. You're not gonna you're not gonna make heaven. You're gonna you're either gonna be all of this. You're either gonna be like this, you have to be like this. Be perfect, even as my father is every perfect. On the job, in the school, driving your car, you can't go into your car, Dr. Jack will come out, Mr. Hot. <laughs> oh, Lord. You're a reckless driver on the road. Oh, and then you come out. <laughs> Don't tell me you're going there, sin. You're going there, you're in pain, you come out of sin. It doesn't work, work that way, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, going, you're going to drive your car in a holy way. Glory be to God. Amen. <laughs> Because you come, you're going to go back after all. Lord, help me here. My Lord. Look, my Lord. The Bible says the word of God is powerful. Very powerful. It very powerful. It dissect you. Dissect you. Right down to the very bone and marrow. Amen. Jesus, Jesus was never violent. Thank never violent. Thank you. Having destroyed everything. I'm talking about building experience. Whereby, whereby, yes. you and I are so established, rooted, grounded in God. Where our marital relationship, my, my marital relationship, 
is, 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 is soaring. Glory to God. Where my wife and I have become one. We have worked on this thing where we have become one. If I'm not there, I'm not around. She, she already knows what this is to make. We've worked Lord on this thing. We've worked on this. Yes. We've worked on it. I presented her to my wife. I mean, to myself, thank the Lord. We've worked on this. We, we, we talk. We sit down and we talk things out in the right spirit. Yes, come on. We don't yell at each other. Amen. Come on now. We've never done that. Glory be to God. Amen. All right, man. Honey, you did this to me yesterday. I, really, I felt so bad that you did that. Why'd you do that, honey? So how do you mean that? You know, there was a, there was a story about a, a husband and a wife. And, and the, the, the husband uh, kept on eating. He kept on eating the back of the bread. Eating the back of the bread. Kept on eating the back. No, he kept on giving his wife the back of the bread. And one day he got, the wife got upset with him. Honey, I am tired. Are you giving me the back of the bread all the time? I'm tired. Stop giving me the back of the bread. I said, honey, I love the back of the bread, but I keep giving it to you because I thought you would love it too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but you see, a lack of communication. Yes. <laughs> yes. A lack of communication. Mm -hmm. You see. Many marriages destroyed because of the lack of communication. Come on, as simple as that. Come on, brother. As simple as a toilet paper, how you put it. As simple as squeezing the toothpaste. As simple as these things are. And destroy, destroy your marriage. But, but glory be to God. When that nature, glory be to God. When that nature becomes like this. That means there is no sin in my life at all. Nothing, no sin. I've dealt with every issue I've ever had. I've dealt with every spirit. God had enabled me. I've dealt with these things. Every spirit. My Lord. Every attitude. I've dealt with it. How is it with you? How is it with you? Can you say this morning, as he is, so are we in this world. Man, he purifies us as we obey the truth. The Bible says that in John 15, it talks about the vine and the branches. He is the vine. We are the branches. If I'm connected to the vine, mm -hmm. that means the life of the vine flows through me. Amen. Yes. Yes. I am alive. Mm -hmm. Now, as the life of the vine flows through me, I will bring forth fruit. Mm -hmm. If I fail to bring forth fruit, the Bible says it's going to cut me off. Okay. So I, I must produce. And if I don't produce, that means I'm not attached to the vine anymore. Mm -hmm. Let us all stand. How is your relationship with the Father this morning? Oh, Lord, help me, help me. It's his active nature. It's his active nature. It's his active nature. It's his active nature. anything in your life that is faintly breathing this afternoon? Is there anything at all? Have you spoken of an unkind word? Have you had an evil thought? Have you, have, have you act unseemly? Did you act unscripturally? Is there any way that you've acted yeah. in the past yeah. or six months ago that you uh, never dealt yeah. with? Is there any area in your life at all that is not like Christ? Any area? Jesus is here. He's Lord, here. if you're still in bondage to sin, if you're still enslaved to sin, if you find yourself doing things you shouldn't be doing and you cannot stop, I keep going, I don't want to do this thing, I'm tired. And you find yourself doing it back and forth and back and forth, you need to do it. You need deliverance. That's not the life of a Christian. You need deliverance this morning. Let's see. Yes. Song. Praise the Lord. Jesus is in the, the business of deliverance. And I'm talking about complete deliverance. Deliverance into a heart. Brother, you want, that, that means your eyes are sanctified. Your ears are sanctified. That means you know you put no wicked thing before your eyes. Amen. Even in your phone, your screen time. I mean, if we look at your history on YouTube, what kind of stuff are you been looking at on YouTube? Oh, bro. Oh, oh. look at your screen time. My mind. And you know, you know, yeah, these algorithms. If you look at one thing, they send you all these other stuff. What, what, what you been looking at on YouTube? Oh, oh. What you been looking at? Amen. What kind of screen time you got? That's all. I urge you, look, time is not on your 
outside this morning. Time is against us. We have no, we don't have time to play around. It's time to get life right with God. Go play around with your own new soul. Brother God, we are, we are just passing through. Sooner or later, you're going to be a memory. Get it right with God. Get it right. Listen, we, we, we're on a pilgrimage here. We're on a pilgrimage. Get it right. Get it right. Give it up. 
Give it up. Give it up. I tell you, there's one thing in life that is certain. Uh, you can buy a burger and plot today, it's certain. Unless Jesus comes, you're going to use it. It's going to be used. That's certain. That's certain. And I'll tell you also what's certain. That Jesus is coming back. Yes, it is. All these two things are certain. Either you die first or you come back first. But I know for certain. That, that is certain. And we can secure. The beautiful part is we can secure our eternal destiny. I can secure. I can know for certain I'm heaven bound. I can know for certain that my spirit is right. I can know for certain that I'm, 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 I'm not shirking my responsibility, my duty. I'm, I'm serving God out of love, not out of I'm serving that. Yes. I can be certain that everything I'm doing, that God's God witnesses upon my life. I can be certain of that. This I can know. Okay. All right. Are you certain? Do you know where you're headed through the dinosaur? All right. My, my. You know this morning. The way you've been living with your husband. The way you live with your wife. You know for certain the way you will be through the dinosaur. The way you live on the job. Do we live behind that behind closed doors? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We know yes, if you die right now, we'll get yes, some. Oh, yes, you die right now. Oh, Lord, help us. Praise. Praise. Thank you. Praise. Thank you.